My name is Bishop Kenya Michael Loltome, United States of Kenya Republic Presidential Aspirant come 2022, God willing. And I'm also uh, the founder of the Research International worldwide and also Kenya. And also a lecturer clergy, professor in systematic uh, theology, Christianity, and also Islamic studies. So, if you have any question pertaining to those uh, kind of uh, theologies, that is uh, Christianity and Islamic, uh, feel free to contact me. Not so many colleges uh, and also other secular, like paramilitary, general service unit, uh, paramilitary training college in Nairobi, national government for 12 years. So, uh, we are, I'm here today actually in Nairobi National Government, uh, Bakasi Location uh, Ward. And we want to see the Word of God in relation to religious, political, philosophy context. And we are going to read the book of First John, uh, chapter 1, verse 5 uh, and 6. And our topic is about walking in the light. Walking in the light. This book actually was written by Apostle John, uh, one of Jesus Christ's disciples. The one who wrote this Gospel of John. He wrote this book about eight years after Jesus Christ left this world to heaven. That is AD 80. 80s. The late life of this old uh, man called John, uh, you know, John actually, was old when he wrote this book. So what you will uh, what you will find in this book, this man was encouraging uh, the persecuted Christian by Emperor Nero of Rome to encourage them to strengthen them so that uh, they may not uh, you know lose hope in their faith as far as God is concerned. Because it is so shocking sometimes even racist people can suffer in this world. So John wrote to encourage and strengthen the believers of that uh, time group uh, near uh, near Ephesus which we call it Turkey, the churches found in Turkey country, which we, it, it was called Ephesus. And uh, yeah, actually, the communities have been springing up uh, throughout the Roman Empire. And uh, also, uh, because of Nero Empire, uh, Nero persecution, Emperor Nero of Rome uh, persecution, uh, the many people lost, actually, uh, you know, their faith uh, in trusting in, trust, in, in trusting God. So, actually, this man was, uh, you know, encouraging these human beings because of that great persecution under Nero, Roman Empire, very cruel leader. And uh, he was actually, you know, he has cleared, killed so many righteous people also. You can get this story also in First Peter, verse 1 and 6. Chapter 1, verse 6. First Peter, verse 1 and 6, Emperor Nero, who used actually to stage a lot of, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, deflections, kind of events, to, so that the public, to draw attention away from public criticisms, because we have been criticizing, like now Kenyan Republic, people are criticizing the president, that is a sleeping president, because, in the, you know, there's no development going on. Uh, in all annual development, uh, you know, countrywide for seven federal states, 290 councils, and 1,450 wards. And also, uh, all the total parliamentarian national parliaments elected leaders, 290 MPs, okay, members of parliament, 46 seven governors, 47 women representatives, 1,450 wards assemblies, and 67 senators. They are not giving any annual development programs, reports to the parliament or to the auditor general or to the control of budgets, including even the judiciary. We are told today that even the judiciary, the office is now under fire. You know, the parliament, uh, you know, the, the, the national parliament, you know, uh, speaker, Honorable Muturi. He is actually asking the you know chief justice to bring the report of you know what's happening in judiciary, but she's unable to do it. Honorable Mata Kome, elected recently, is unable to do it, and he's actually the judiciary head or president in that case of that uh, you know judiciary. So if actually even the judiciary are messing up, what about these human beings? Annual development normally start in Kenya Republic every you know first June to 30th July. 
uh, whereby the money are being factored to be given to all for seven federal state county governments, 290 constituencies, 1,450 words assemblies. And the report are normally supposed to be, you know, taken back again to the parliament, national parliament and also, you know, Senate, national Senate parliament. So that another, you know, year, money will be, uh, you know, allocated for the, uh, for the you know, uh, capital expenditures, recurrent expenditures, and supplementary expenditures. No report. Since President Uru Megai Ganyata was elected, 2013 to 2021 now, although he has resigned on 6, 2014, but you don't know how he has come again to the office. Ruto now is about to answer this question then, in that case, because he was given the office on October 6, 2014 up to now. Uh, the, you know, according to Kenya constitution, the president now is supposed to be the deputy president now, which is actually Dr. Ruto, William Samuel Ruto. He was given that office officially on 6, 2014, when actually Uru resigned and he went to Hague and he came back, you know, as a civilian also. So, once a person resigned, as I said, I said it the other days, yeah, you cannot go back to office. So, Ruto has to give actually Kenyans annual development reports because it must be that government of executive office of the president must have all these you know, reports. They are the ruling government. You believe the commission movement? Okay? But now Ruto has run away from, because he doesn't want to answer these questions of annual development, auditing, okay? Which are supposed to be given to him by auditor general and control of budgets. And also, you know, the parliament has also to give them the reports because they don't want to approve the budgets, under development budgets. Okay? So, what am I saying? We want actually leaders who are working in the light. And we are going to read that in place. First John 1, chapter 1, verse 1, and 5, uh, verse 2, uh, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. First John. The book written by Apostle or Jesus Christ disciple. Okay? And without any distortions, it reads like this. First John 1, chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Walking in the light. This is the message we have heard from him, that is God of yours, and declare to you, okay? That's a man of God speaking to persecuted people. God is light in him, there is no darkness at all. Okay? Verse 6. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet we walk in the darkness, we lie and not live by the truth. That's what the word of God says. Without any vivid images of distortions. Okay? Light in contrast with darkness. Normally light goes with actually the truth. And darkness is actually the other part, which is actually uh, corruption in that case. So we want actually leaders who are walking in the light. The president has to tell us, Kenyans, how he has managed again to come back to, to be the president of Kenya Republic. He says, Urubuke Kenyatta, upon his resignation letter given to the state, announced publicly, all public you know, media houses worldwide, on October 6, 2014, and headed to Hague, he removed actually after leaving the office officially, State House of Kenya Republic, dropped himself away to his home, and is now again back as the president of Kenya. How did he manage to come back? Another thing, how did actually the president then, the deputy president was given the office, uh, the deputy president, who is actually Dr. William, His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto, was actually our Kenyan president on 6, 2014, up to now 2021, according to the Kenya constitution, because he has not resigned, obviously. They had the election of 2017, which was not done even properly, it was just, uh, you know, by the all, all papers. Oh, that's why even Raila skipped it, actually skipped it. 2020, 2017 election repeated and also the other side of it after new probably right now the whole new this mess but did not speak up the other people there's a continuous president deputy president who uh, dr william ruto and is being elected on 88 again 2017 along with the you know 
retired president, that is Uhuru Mege Kenyatta. That's why Raila Mwala Odinga skipped that election again repeatedly. Which was held on 26 10, 2017. I have now, we have now found out the reason why this man actually skipped the election. And he called himself actually on January 30th, 2018, the People's Republic of Kenya, law only for federal state county government who have actually sent it or went away from Kenya Republic. They have not elected the president 2017 because Ruta was actually a continuous president. Okay? On 8th, 8th, uh, that election was held 2017. And Ruta now was just, you know, clinging on power officially, obvious. And he was elected on 8th, 8th, along with Uru Mega Kenyatta, which was resigned a long time ago, on, you know, October 6, 2014. So, I believe strongly, that's why even the chief opposition leader decided actually not to, to go to that election. Because he has knew the president is already on, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, up to now, 2021. Okay? The year of 2021, the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? We want actually things to be done in a, in a right manner. And the only way to be done is when leaders walk in the light, according to the Bible. That's what the Bible says here. Okay? First John chapter 1, verse 5 and 6, 5 and 6. Okay? This is the message we have heard from him, or we have heard from God. John is speaking to these persecuted human beings. And he declared to you, okay, God is light. And in him there is no darkness or corruption in that case. And they, okay, and actually people are to walk in light that in, in that case. And six also says, okay, if we claim we have fellowship or we live together in harmony and peace and unity, okay, we have to walk in light. Okay, what actually, I want to put across clearly here, in what sense is God light? In that case in verse 5. Because it is stated here, this is actually what the word of God speaks here in verse 5, the key verse. This is the message we have heard from God or Him and declare to you, God is light. Okay? Mark the word, God is light. In Him there is no darkness at all. So, my, the question is, in what sense is God light then in that case, in verse 5? Okay? The key verse. Light normally suggests, according to the Bible, or, and even particularly today, the idea that God is open and honest. Okay? Since God is actually open, okay, he cannot, uh, you know, hide anything. Like now light, I can see now uh, there is light here now. Okay? Without even, you know, artificial light like, you know, electricity. God light. I can see everything here without paying any coin. Because of what? Openness of God and honesty of God, power, omnipotent, omnipotent, very powerful God, omnipresent, uh, present everywhere, okay, omniscience, all knowledge about God. So God, in essence, is light, in that case, is open, I, as also I can see everywhere now, because this is light, at this particular time, I'm not depending on artificial light, which I am normally paying, Kenya power of Kenya Republic, but now I'm not paying this light from God. It is very free. So in essence, in what sense is God light? It is because God idea is ideas are open. We want also the leaders, our leaders to, to be open. If you have resigned and you have left the office, then you have to tell us well, how you have to tell us how did you manage again to come back? Is that the rumor you can get that to your president? From 2014 up to now. And the country now is messing up. Huh? Because they are fighting with the president, well elect, on uh, October, he has left the office, uh, he has actually handed the power to him, on October 6, 2014, and that's, uh, you know, His Excellency uh, Dr. William Samuel Ruto. He is our president today, according to the 10, 2010 constitution. Okay? Check, I'm not sitting, I'm speaking in an open, a light, in a light, like God is light, in essence, and also in, in a honest manner, because I'm a spiritual leader, professor in systematic theology and Islamic studies. 
I don't see that value. I fear God, surely. So, what do I want to say? There is also, uh, the, actually, the light also reveals the truth of the matter. You can see things clearly. Light also, okay, okay, represent goodness and purity in moral senses. That is actually another importance of light. So, there is no shadow or, or, or darkness in the sight of God. In that case, God, that's why we say God is light. He is perfect and uh, is also free of sin. It is sinless. And that's now why God is saying all leaders, all human beings living in even Kenya and beyond, walk in the light. Huh? If we want to live in a very harmonious country, in, in peace and in peaceful kind of coexistence, in love, in unity, we must walk in the light. And actually that is what the Bible says here. And we have to walk in light. We have to walk in light. We have to walk in light in that case. Okay? Because of what? In an openness way, in a honesty way, in a goodness way, in a purity way, in a, you know, in a, in relation to immoral senses, okay? And also in a perfect and free life from seeds in that case. So, Actually, I concur with actually Honorable uh, Speaker of National Government of Kenya Republic, Honorable uh, Justin Muturi, to have actually told Chief Justice of Kenya Republic today, we want actually an audit to be done and to be, you know, submitted to, to the National Parliament, with the, because they are started now from the judiciary. Where actually we normally say this is this office is the one which is governing what we call rule of law. In Kenya Republic, Chief Justice Mother Kome is our Chief Justice. Okay? And actually, Honorable Muturi has told today that actually he needs an audit a report from the Auditor General Control of Budget. Okay? From judiciary. Not only that one, he could have even himself told us Kenyans how much money, okay, have been given to all for seven federal uh, county governments, to himself also. That's my, now my plea to him uh, as a spiritual presidential aspirant come 2022. And I would wish all leaders and citizens to walk in the light today. Not only actually on Ramuduri requesting actually Chief Justice to submit to the National Parliament to the Public Com Accounts Committee or uh, their own uh, audit, how they are, you know, giving how they are spending Kenyan, uh, you know, tax collect, uh, revenue collections, money given to them yearly, that normally start in June 1st and uh, to July 30th yearly to submit to the national parliament and also i believe also to the senate parliament but now that one is kept is quiet i don't know whether they are bright the senators because they have not spoken like that honorable muduri also i am appealing to him to pray even myself professor michael Otome, lecturer clergy okay and president of the kenya republic united states of kenya republic come to the show for him also to give us to, to tell us kenyans and the government money, okay, given to all for seven federal state county government, 20, you know, okay, 290 constituencies, okay, and as well as 1,450 world assemblies. Let him tell us, particularly even since, uh, you know, last election of, 20, of uh, you know, 20, 26, 10, 2017, up to now, 2021. Particular those here. Let us even let us even live about 2013. But they let him just tell us. But if he is able to tell us even 2013, if the, 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 his computer can reflect it, we don't mind. Okay? That 10 years of the president Urmegenyatatam. We want to know this money. Because there's no developmental agenda going on in the whole public of Kenya Republic now. So we want that usually our leaders to walk in the light by giving us this report. And pin this report to the administrator's office, chief's office, like now here in Bakasi. 
We want to know this robot, how much money I've been given to this location, uh, wood, I am now standing here, Ambakasi village, oh, and uh, also Ambakasi East, where I am now in, you know, I'm now speaking in Ambakasi National Government, uh, constituency, East constituency. Our MP is Babo Wino. Let, uh, let, we want to Babo Wino to give us uh, the report of our money. Our member of parliament, that young man we have elected last uh, you know, election of 2010, on 8, uh, 8 August, okay, uh, 8 August, okay, 2017, Babo Wino has to give us the report, okay, give, uh, you know, the chief here, Embakasi village, okay, how, uh, how the money, our money, uh, you know, given out, we call the capital, in relation to capital expenditures, recurrent expenditures, and also supplementary expenditures, money meant for education, money meant for health, Money meant for security, money meant for agriculture, money meant for, for water, money, money meant for, you know, health care. We want to give you know, a good example. We want to give to start with the Ambakasi East, Ambakasi Village Constituency. Today, where I'm here, myself. We want to give you to give out that report. Uh, and, and we're going to check out to, uh, to scrutinize that here, Ambakasi, uh, you know, Ambakasi. Chief Office. Our chief is, uh, is actually Mr. Ezekiah. A uh, good man of God, chief we have here, very good man. And all the police here, uh, all of them are, go, uh, are godly people. They, some of them are even uh, pastors and bishops. Here in Bakasi village, uh, police, you know, police force. We have a uh, god fearing people here in Bakasi. Uh, even as a good man, uh, you have, uh, you godly people. The chief here, Ezekiah, is a very godly man. Uh, he's my friend. And even, uh, you know, pastors here and, uh, you know, police. Pastors here in Pakasi and also the the pastors actually we want actually people who are working in the light we want actually Babu we know honorable Babu we know our MP to give us the report to take that report to chief office here so we can go and check scrutinize uh, CDF money how many kids are given okay and also we want our MCA uh, member of county assembly uh, honorable Babu uh, honorable Mike Oganda. Also to give our, our report, Sagaja, our senator, to give the report to chief here, and also our, you know, uh, you know, our new governor, uh, military officer, you know, uh, newly, you know, appointed by the president, Kenya Air Force incumbent, uh, you know, a new governor of executive officer of the president, uh, okay, Nairobi Metropolitan Services, Ms. Honorable Mohammed Ali Badi, to give also the chief here report so that we go and check you know there is a there, there is saying that there is a lot of bore holes here well they are people are getting water but we don't see this kind of water there okay let him also him a new governor uh, kenya force because he's still a he's a man of two crowns he's a kenya force boss general muhammad ali uh, buddy give the report to the chief to have that one to scrutinize here okay we went to our senator, called Sakaja, Honorable Sakaja. Women representative, uh, Basaris, Esther Basaris, all these leaders to give the report here. Okay? And also the senator of the, of the president. Who is the president? Uh, actually, according to the constitution, it is actually October's Ruto. He's always also to give the report here. Because he was uh, actually elected officially on October 6, 2014. He was given office by the Head of state, we wouldn't forget Kenya when he went to Hague up to now, okay. And he has not resigned, he has not a public reserve. Resigned. We want also uh, Dr. the president, uh, Dr. you know, William Samuel to give the chief report here. We got to check, huh? How, how, how are we being led here? Otherwise, remember May 2022 to conclude this matter, okay. Because I will not let you down. I will be the president who will be walking in the light. Okay? The president, okay? Like Daniel Aramoy, God fearing man, because I was his, uh, you know, you know, uh, the, the letter, uh, His Excellency Daniel Aramoy, the second president of Kenya Republic, I was his pastor 2002. We used to go to the chiefs and they, we are told what's happening. I used to, we, we are given even sometimes in 1984. The food, the many sacks are given, you know, to the poor people because the uh, American, uh, His Excellency, the entire president, uh, 
Bush, W. Bush, gave Kenya a lot of food, 1984. I was also the manager, distributor of food uh, relief in Marsabit County, the biggest county, up to the border line. That is actually near the border of Ethiopia and Kenya. I was actually the program manager of One Vision NZK and, you know, giving food there. Myself, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome. I was, uh, I was actually stationed at, uh, you know, Uran Lataka, you know, Moyale sub-county, uh, Sololo. Huh? And we are, we are given a lot of food and then even I, 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 I started building even a primary school for food for what? Yeah? Uran Lataka Primary School, 1984, some remaining classes. And also, Yashere uh, Dam, you know, using food for, you know, food for what? Because we, are, we had a lot of surplus food. 1984, I was the manager of distributor for the relief services, uh, 1984. And I, because I, there was a lot of food, I, I, I decided to use some of them for other developments. The food will work. Rather than giving people freely, they work again to build their own schools. You share it down, which I also I am the one who started there, and uh, Uran Lataka, you know, 1984. And now it's actually serving people from 1985 to now. A lot of water is actually being stored in that catchment dam. I have made myself prepared actually in 1984 during President Moi Tana time. Okay? And also I thank the President of uh, you know, the uh, United States of America, uh, W. Bush, His Excellency, retired, because he was and also President, uh, you know, uh, Family, um, uh, Daniel Arab Moy, His Excellency, because he was a man who was working in the light. I was his, uh, I was his pastor actually. In, uh, again, later on, in uh, 2000, two, two, two or two, until his time expires. So, we want the leaders to work like Moy, the Daniel Moy, President Daniel, His Excellency, the late Moy, working in the light. A man of God. Okay? We are told how many sacks. Uh, we used to give out this report to the chiefs. Eh? All of us, even those, uh, I was a program manager of food distribution. And how am I even giving out this food to the food for work? I surplus food along the border of Kenya Republic. And now that school is normally called the one we have completed, Uran Lataka Primary School. It's where even, uh, you know, the, the governor of Marsabit now, Muhammad Ali, he was actually a people of that school that time. Okay? I would. Well, and you know, it was a, a primary school kid, uh, you know, by then. And I was actually giving them food, even to his family. Eh? Muhammad, Honorable Muhammad Ali, Ali. Masabit now governor, okay, of Uralataka. What? Wata, something like that. That is actually a subtle group of uh, Corona. Okay? Now that is, suppose that, is those, those, that we have not given those people food. We don't have any that Masabit now governor, Muhammad Ali. And now he's our governor. He was actually a primary school kid by then. Okay? So what do I want to say? Eh? We want actually leaders who are working in the light. Okay? And uh, now we want to have uh, completed this matter. Remember May 2022 as we are fifth president, sixth president. Because now the fifth president is actually Dr. Uh, you know. William Samuel Ruto is the fifth president according to Kenya Constitution 2010. October 6, 2014, he was actually given that office by the president, uh, Uru Megai Kenya, who have resigned honorably as a man of God also. And he will also be my powerful prime minister in the next government. Okay? I will let the government to conclude this matter up to 2030 20, vision. Okay, I am there as uh, you know the sixth president with uh, my you know my my vice president, uh, His Excellency Adan Barreduale. Urumuke Kenyatta will be a power prime minister because, uh, according to me, he's an ordinary man up to today, having resigned on October 6, 2014. So I will retain him as a royal family member, uh, uh, leader uh, to be my power prime minister with the two of his you know. Uh, uh, deputy prime ministers of his choice and the 2030 vision, okay. Also, leadership will be retired. The president of the United States of America, His Excellency Barack Hussein Obama. 
I will recall him to come and lead us again, Africa, here in Kenya, because we are unable to rule ourselves. And I will also be just there for one term, 60 months, if I will be elected, 2022. I will serve only five years, which is 60 months. And then I will recall uh, uh, His Excellency, you know, retired great nation of the world, in the world, called United States of America, retired president, His Excellency Barack Hussein Obama to come and lead us. And so, may God bless you as we look forward for all these uh, ideas which have started. And remember to the two as your fifth president, because I will not let you down. I will be, uh, uh, the president will be focusing a lot on God affairs and also human well, uh, well, uh, welfare. Women, uh, we, uh, we, uh, human welfare. Women welfare. We, uh, we, human welfare. Okay? Nobody will stay without food, nobody without, will stay without land, uh, uh, with uh, a company with title deed, or any other things like uh, lack of uh, health care will not be there, or lack of education. We will provide you all welfare. I will focus on welfare of humanity, and, uh, all God, and also God first, also spiritual affairs. Thank you so much. May God bless you as we look forward for 2022 as your sixth president, Michael President Michael Otome, if I will be elected.